Howdy folks, it's Dave with Alaskan Homesteading again. Today's video is going to be pretty short and to the point. I've got to install a fascia board on the woodshed. I have the tractor here to give me a hand. I've got a big old fascia board. It's only 16 feet and I need uh, 24. So I'm going to be putting, putting that up there, uh, tacking it in place, and then I've got another long section to cut down to length to fill in the rest. Let's see how it goes. Well, what I've done is raised up the loader arms as high as they'll go with the uh, forks up there to see about having something to hold it up there roughly in place. Obviously, it's hanging off the end pretty far. That's okay. I'm going to get my ladder out, slide it down, and uh, and see where it lines up. I may have to do some trimming, cut it to length. I haven't even measured exactly how long it is, but it doesn't really matter because uh, I'm going to end up probably, again, having to trim it down a little bit to uh, to match up to the end of one of the rafters. Well, this is working all right. Using the forks and those couple of clamps to just sort of hold it roughly in place. I can get one screw down here in this end, move the ladder, go down there, tack up the other end, and then secure it the rest of the way. Creative solutions for working alone. Unfortunately, I may be stopped in my tracks here because it looks like we've got enough of a little bow in the roof there and I'm not sure what's caused it. Maybe maybe we're already getting a little bit of frost heave from this early cold snap here. But the front edge of this roof is not uh is not really perfectly straight at this point. I know it was straight when I put it up, but something has shifted. So I am gonna have to do this fascia in pieces or figure out something else because this 16 foot board is not going to fit in that spot and it's also possible although i don't think it's the case it's also possible that the fascia developed a curve to it while it was sitting out and drying and and freezing you know who knows what uh, what forces are have been at work inside the wood so I'm going to have to take that down and maybe run a chalk line on it and see how straight the board is at this point. Because if it's not straight, then that's uh, doubling the problem. Well, I think you might even actually be able to see it on camera here. That post on the far left, I think, heaved up. Something, something has changed over there. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to make shorter sections of fascia that will accommodate the uh, the curvature of the front of the building. You know, it's uh, just a woodshed, I have to keep reminding myself. It was never going to be perfect, but uh, this does annoy me a bit. Okay, well I had to do it in, uh, in four pieces to accommodate for that little shift in the building, but overall, not too bad. There's a couple little gaps there, but uh, yeah, I'm not uh, not overly concerned with it. I just wanted something up there to act as a little bit of a fascia. I can mount my little uh, motion detecting light up there so that <laughs> when uh, when I come out here at night, I can uh, light up the area. All right, folks, well, that's all the time I have for today. I got the basics completed. I did my fascia board. I mounted my little motion sensor light up there, and now I am running out of daylight and energy, so I'm going to move on to inside stuff. Uh, mostly, I think I'm going to go try and get some dinner. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up. It really helps people find the videos. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.